What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. We're on version 11.4.2. Uh, now uh, version 11.4.3 did start going to employees, but nobody else has it yet. And we're going to do something a little different with today's video. So roundabouts are something I've been complaining about for quite a long time. There used to be a time back in the day where beta basically couldn't do roundabouts. See, it's already messing up here. I'm just gonna fix that real quick. Uh, <laughs> uh, beta couldn't really do them correctly. It just wasn't part of its programming. Then we finally got some updates where the car could do them correctly, but you know, would kind of do them right sometimes and mess them up other times. Whatever, that's fine. It's kind of the development process. Well, it's been a while where beta is still kind of hit or miss on roundabouts. I would say maybe half the time they're kind of blowing my mind with how good they can be. And then the other half of the time they're like pretty awkward. And then maybe 5% of that other half of the time, uh, they can almost be to the point where they're going to enter the roundabout when somebody's in our way. So what we're doing here today, we're going to go through these roundabouts a bunch of times. We have a triple roundabout. We have three in a row, as you can see here. And all we're going to do is go back and forth and see how the car does and kind of critique this and look at it over time and see if it's being improved or if there's anything Tesla can do about it. Uh, this is a bit of like a Chuck Cook style where I'm going to be hammering these roundabouts and seeing if the, the car can get better at them. So as you can see here, we're coming up to the yield. This is too slow. We should enter and it's stopping at the yield with nobody in our way, stopping again. And now it finally continues. Not dangerous, not the end of the world, but also not the right thing to do, especially with people behind you. So we'll wait at this yield, I would assume. Yep, so we're stopping when we shouldn't. Absolutely should not be stopping. Still hesitating. And I'm trying not, so I did nothing that time. I'm trying not to interact with it yet. <laughs> if we get honked at a couple times, I'll start, you know, kind of pushing the car along when we need to. But there you go. So that's pretty much a normal, not a normal, but a typical behavior from beta you'll see in roundabouts. Very skittish, very hesitant. Every once in a while, it'll blast through there at the appropriate time. But most of the time, we're getting more of what you're seeing here. So this person behind me is going to start getting a little angry, I bet. So the car is still stopping. So I'm going to, I'm going to press the accelerator because they're coming up kind of fast on me behind me. We're stopping again. So you can see it highlighted these cars over here um, as, as threats basically. So let me, yeah. So not very good for the first run. Let me set it up one more time. I mean, let me set it up again and, and we'll start again. All right. So here we go again. We'll let the car do this right turn for us to the roundabouts. Now, something I want you to notice that I've kind of picked up what beta does is even if it, the beta, my car is fully in the roundabout, it will see someone approaching the roundabout from another entrance. Even if they're really far away, it'll highlight them in blue as if we need to yield for them. Of course, we know that that's not true. We do not need to yield for them, but the car is very cautious in that it doesn't assume as maybe I would that the person coming towards us is going to do the right thing and hit their brake. Beta is more looking at trajectory, calculating the speed of that person and saying, Hey, if they continue with that speed, they're going to run into us. I need to be careful. Whereas what I would do, which is more normal is like, well, they're going to, you know, yield, they have a yield sign. And if they don't, I may have to slam on the brake at the last second. So that entrance was perfect into the roundabout. And that whole sequence through the roundabout was perfect. Couldn't have been done better that time. And then we break as we're coming out. I don't know why it thinks 20 here. Um, I'm going to bump that up a little bit because it's, I don't know why it does that. I don't really care about that so much right now. Uh, another thing that I will mention is uh, turn signals. So it's, it's a tough thing if you, okay, see like why are we breaking all the way back here? And now we're a oh, hard break for that person. Okay. Now you need to go through. Oh my gosh, it's so awkward. Okay, I have to hit the accelerator because we're stopping. Okay, I have to hit it again because we're stopping in the roundabout. And we're stopping way back here. Doesn't make sense. We're stopping still. We're changing lanes for no reason. Oh boy. Okay. Now you're like in the roundabout and you stopped. So this is like the worst. I have to push it through now that we have some space. Keep going, please. Keep going, please. So it's scared. You can see that person to our right was highlighted in blue because it thought they were going to interact with us even though they were not and it was our turn to go there. Oh man. So that's pretty much what I'm seeing with roundabouts. Let's, let's give it a few more tries. See if we could do maybe a full circle around the roundabout as well. Now, <laughs> coming back to this spot, I see, I guess we technically could have been in that one the first time, but when you're going through, you really want to be in this one. Uh, so let's talk about turn signals. So realistically, if you're not, if you're going to take the first exit, you could put your right turn signal on. If you're going to take any other exit, you put your left turn signal on until you arrive at that exit and you switch to your right turn signal to kind of show people around you what you're doing. And nice takeoff there. Very good. Beta 
It's kind of like, see, we have a right turn signal on now, even though we're going to continue moving. And like, oh my gosh, this is so awkward. <laughs> like you can see the there's lots of traffic. They're trying to get in here and we're not moving. Again, the person behind me is just really close and we're hitting our brake as we enter the roundabout. I just saw their hand go like this, like, what are you doing? So I'm going to continue hitting the accelerator here just to not be too much in the way. Cause we can, you know, you can see what Beta's doing. Now Beta's approach to, what is, oh, I picked the wrong destination there. Well, we'll let it take this exit. Let's see what it does. Beta's approach to roundabouts uh, and turn signals seems to be pretty random. In Michigan, the human use, so what I do personally and what the people around me do is they just don't use turn signals and roundabouts like pretty much nobody. So there we go. That was a nice roundabout uh, maneuver right there. Legally in Michigan, I think it is the way I described it at first, but I'm actually not sure. It's It wasn't that clear cut and I read it a long time ago, so I don't remember that much. Uh, but again, turn signals at this point, I'm not too worried about. It's something that I feel like, well, turn signals have been pretty crappy for a while. <laughs> so there we go. I got it to us to Panera with me pressing the accelerator like several, several times. All right, here we go. Let's go back across to McDonald's. And if I can stop yapping so much, there's just so much going on. I will try to reset my destination here. Let's just do this. We'll put it here right now. If you would load. Okay, great. Thanks for removing all my icons. Whoa, nice takeoff there. Holy moly. I need to actually edit the trip. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to mess it up when it's already <laughs> can handle it when I'm not messing it up. All right, so we need to wait in line here. Pretty good here. And we should stay here. Do not move to the right, which is another thing I've seen Beta do. It looks like it can't even tell that that's a full lane there. There we go. Now it's opening up in the visual. Let me give you a full visual for this one. So it's completely clear. Okay, so a little hesitant. Not That one wasn't that big of a deal. Now, don't mind that truck swinging to the outside, slamming on the brakes. I guess I shouldn't say slamming, but significantly slowing down when we need to continue through. Okay, not, not terrible besides a huge slowdown in the middle of that roundabout. You do not slow when you're already in the roundabout. You just need to uh, finish what you're doing here. And I'm very curious on everybody's takes in the comments because pretty much every time I talk about roundabouts, like there's five different opinions on what the car should have done. So like this, I don't think the car should do that. I think everyone should probably agree with that. Nice continuation here. It's got this guy in blue, no. Keep going, please. Okay, so I didn't have to interact that time. You can see, look at that tentacle going insane. And stopping in the roundabout. We're still in it. <laughs> oh, okay, now we need to wait for all this traffic. Okay, it's okay for you to stop this time. Now, if it doesn't continue. Oh, 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 oh okay, you waited too long. No, no, oh my goodness, what are you doing? All right, I gotta hit the accelerator because somebody's coming. So now we got to go all the way around the roundabout. Ah, I edited a little too late. Darn, that's my fault, my fault. All right, let me do it better this time and, and uh, see if I can get it to do a full circle. All right, there we go. I took my time setting up the route this time. So let's see, it wants to move into this one. You know what, if it puts us on the highway, then oh well, it's really going to screw me because I do not want to go that way. <laughs> so for, in my opinion, this is the wrong lane to be in. So it is continuing. It looks like it kind of used that car as a guide to move through. That was very nice. I need to move into this one. Awesome. But hitting the brake, stop. Like we're hitting the brake so hard. And I need to push it because somebody's coming up behind me. There's lots of people in these roundabouts right now. Look how that guy flies through. See, like, I don't need that. I don't need all that. All right, I'm pushing it. We're just stopping and stopping. I think you get the point. I hope you don't think I'm complaining too much. I'm just trying, you can't feel when the car breaks in the video. So I'm just trying to kind of portray that to you that we're in the roundabout and the car is physically like actively hitting the brake when we should just be gliding through there, not braking. Okay, so now we'll have a full circle. Oh my goodness, why did you switch lanes right there? Oh, there's a, see here, right there, right there. Somebody is there and I had to hit the brake because the car was continuing to go through. I mean, it definitely was not hitting the brake hard enough. Now, would it have probably slammed the brake at the last second? Yes, I believe so, but I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to play around with that. So full circle going okay. Again, switching in the middle of the roundabout, not appropriate stopping for the person to the right, at least tapping the brake. So it's complex. There's a lot going on. I know the Europeans make fun of me for, you know, saying that these roundabouts are hard, but I hope you can appreciate that these roundabouts have lots of entrances and exits on all sides of them. So here, let me leave it on 20 so people don't complain about me changing the speed and saying that that's messing beta up. Like, come on, just stick in your lane, 
stop. Uh, okay. And then, like, look at that. It's like, it just went straight through like multiple lanes just to get into that lane. Oh my goodness. And then back and forth, nobody's directly behind me. So I can allow that. And then gliding through here is nice. And you're sticking to your lane. Uh, and then you're hitting the brake right in front of all that traffic. <laughs> See, I got hogged out. I knew it was going to happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, well, there you go. There's roundabouts. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments about that. And Tesla, I will be back here. So, you know, send out one of your testers and get these perfected. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will see you, or you will see me in the next video.